Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Ricker here. In today's video, I will show you how to play one of the most broken junglers right now in the game. It's gonna be Blue Cane. Blue Cane into the right team comp is an absolute devastating pick. And if you guys are facing melee champions, you could obviously also opt out and just go for the red cane pick, Dark in and yeah i hope you guys will enjoy this video i'm gonna try to explain it to you guys um the item build in depth and also my decision making how i like to play kane and uh, how i'm how i'm pathing talking about the decision making talking about flanking correctly as a cane and talking about how to achieve the blue form as quickly as possible so you guys can abuse blue cane in your games try to practice this champion he's definitely not that easy especially in the early game and also with the mana mew because mana mew is more like a scaling item and instead of just going for the full lethality build where you're just a little bit stronger in the early mid game in comparison to mana mew but mana mew gives you a way better damage output so make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get started so for the first item it's gonna be shimmering spark you guys might be wondering why are you exactly getting this item isn't this like a tank jungle item yeah but the passive of shimmering spark does magic aoe damage onto enemies so it's very useful for you guys to use this item to get the blue form because you can stack up the blue form quicker using this item now for the first core item it's gonna be humus ghost blade this item is also getting buffed by the way this item is getting buffed on the new patch um giving you five more attack damage and costing a little bit more but yeah, it's going to be an even stronger core item for a lot of assassins. Um, this item gives you lethality, gives you ability haste, gives you movement speed out of combat and gives you additional attack speed. Uh, so very gold efficient item um, that gives you insane stats so you guys can snowball better. 15 armor penetration. I mean, basically you want to get armor penetration so you guys can reduce the armor of the opponent. So you guys will do almost true damage. That's the point. The mana mew in this item um i mean you get uh, you get some i mean in the jungle you have mana right but the main important thing is uh for the girl for the gold you're investing into this item the return you're getting you're getting tons of attack damage tons of ability haste and you're getting insane amount of poking damage because you're using the passive is that you're using your mana to do additional damage and also the mana you have in total is gonna get transformed um to a percentage to attack damage so that's why you're getting a lot of attack damage and then you're using your mana to do additional damage on your next ability so with the second ability that you're using in the blue form to keep poking people you will do 50 percent damage onto them with the mura mana and essence reaver combined this is like an insane poking combo for the uh, blue cane which gives you more versatility in team fights to just not always go for the all-in but just sometimes poke people down before team fights or for before an objective next one is me essence reaver why is this item so good on kane now first of all let's uh, look at the stats 20 ability haze the more abilities we have the more ability haze we have the more often we can use our ability uh, our abilities especially the second ability in the blue form because you can use the second ability of blue cane um while moving so you can walk in the wall and keep poking the opponents down and on top of that the passive is um it's a uh, it's kind of bugged right okay the description is bugged but you are guaranteed to do additional 20 percent damage on your next ability as well after using an auto attack but yeah um guaranteed 20 percent and the more crit rate you have the more additional damage you're gonna get on your next ability up to 30 percent so we're gonna reach 50 percent in total with this build so we're gonna have 25 percent additional damage on our next damaging ability and that's why we are running Lord Dominic's, but you could also run Cerita's Crutch if you guys prefer the ability haste and the additional slow. Uh, the armor penetration is the same, obviously, uh, really good to reduce the armor uh, percentage by 30 in the late game. Um, 
works i mean some people might think it's only good for tanky champions but it's also good for um majors or adcs because they have base resistance everyone has base resistance at some point especially level 10 everyone has enough base resistance that lord dominix is very effective or like armor penetration percentage items are very effective and your next auto attack gains 80 percent attack speed as well so with this we're getting 50 percent are we getting 50 yeah we're getting 50 percent crit rate and that means we're getting 5% addition damage onto our passive of Essence River, meaning 25% addition damage. And then we're just getting Guardian Angel for the survivability and the safety net. Um, yeah, I would use Mercs. I think you can use Mercs for the crawl control reduction. Um, plate seal caps against physical damage. Or Lucidity Boots for even more abilities, so you can spam your abilities more. And for the enchantment status for survivability i think 90 percent of times i use stasis and there are some games where i'm using quicksilver slash if they have a lot of crawl control that i can remove like they have tons of binds or something like that like they have morgana lux or maybe varus then i would use quicksilver slash but other times i would just use stasis for uh, some survivability for the runes I electrocute, this gives you the best damage output after damaging the opponent with three hits, um, whether it's abilities or auto attacks. Then sun impact. Whenever you're dashing, you're gonna get even more lethality, meaning you will do more burst damage. Bone plating for damage reduction, or you can run perseverance for um, resistance, and then transcendence for even more ability haste. But yeah, that's good for the item build, and let's get started with the gameplay okay let's get started as you guys can see we in the early game are just gonna do as always the pink ward at the blue brush so we get some uh, vision and information and a reset switch to the red trinket why are we doing this because we can use the red trinket later on um when we're ganking and usually i just go for the full clear on that cane normally i start the drip buff then i use the third ability but i wanted to try out the crux star to see if it's uh, better or not we're maxing the first ability then the second ability and then the third ability i think the, in the early game your first ability is your main damage tool and then later on when you have the blue form your second ability is super useful But yeah, I'm not doing anything special right here. Just going for full clear, trying to get level 5. And then I will probably reset and try to gank bot lane so I can get some stacks for the blue form. Okay, bot lane is dying though. I'm wondering if we can fight this. Okay, Kami's on it. Oh yeah. Volley Bear is not paying attention to Kami coming. Oh, I remember what's happening here. Ay ay ay. I'm flashing out. I should have just backed off right here. I should have just backed up right here. Immediately. Not even trying to contest. I didn't think she would kill me to be honest. But that's a pretty bad start. But look at the red bar. Oh wow, red bar is popping, huh? I'm just gonna go for the Ezreal right here. I think I can get him. And if you kill someone, uh, one auto attack quickly. I think I'm gonna die for it. But we we we're we're getting we're getting blue blue stack form. <laughs> we're trying to get the blue stacks. It's fine. And honestly, on Kane sometimes it's worth dying if you can get the kill because if you kill someone, you're getting more blue stacks. Sometimes it's worth having a shit early game just so you can get the blue form uh, quicker. I mean that that top that top file was definitely 
stupid but uh, dying for the Ezreal I think it's worth because uh, we're filling up the blue form it's okay one more fight where we're getting one kill and we're gonna get the blue form if you can get two kills in the early game against range champions you get the blue form at two minutes They're like the best optimal case I'm gonna try to gank I try to counter gank. The yeah, Kami is diving super deep right here. Gonna use the ultimate. Gonna get out. And we get a kill. Amazing in by the Kami. Super deep dive for her. And we get another kill. That's pretty damn good for us. Oh yeah, but I maybe I should mention really quickly when you use blue form, when you use red form. Red form, I mean, you get it when you're stacking against melee champions, and it does percentage damage. Um, so the more HP the opponent have, the more damage you will do. So it works really good against tanky champions. And the range form is obviously very good against squishy targets, ADCs, mages, etc. To burst them. One is a bruiser form, and the other is an assassin form. And assassin forms work the best against squishy targets. So what I'm gonna do right here, um, I probably just uh, blue, pull blue clear into Herald into pull or putting in mid lane. I do this most of the times. Oh, Kami is here. Okay. Let's see if I can do something here. I don't think so. Maybe. I should have cancelled the ultimate quicker. He dashed flash right into his turret, so I followed him all the way into it. But you can immediately trigger your ultimate. Like you can immediately press on the ultimate again to get out and then they will still take the damage immediately. So that's what I should have done. To be honest, I was waiting for shit to run out there. Because he still had his passive. Okay, Vegas gonna start the Rift Herald. It's kind of a little, a little bit fiesta, this game. Obviously it would be better if I'm starting the game for zero, but it's more exciting, right? And I think a lot of games on Kane. Um, his early game is... Okay, I'm not gonna get it. Fix Batman. Okay, he's gonna put him mid lane regardless, that's fine. Okay, they're on the ice dragon already, they're gonna get it. It's okay. Ooh, I can use ultimate in time. It's Batman. I wanted to use the ultimate onto the Kamir so I can uh, get out, but I didn't uh, manage to get there in time. But the, the blue form is really delayed. There are, I think it's... From my experience... A lot of times... I don't have the perfect early game where I'm getting the blue form early. Like This is like the best case YouTube uh, material. But it's not something that's gonna happen every game. Like It's very unlikely. I think the more likely outcome of you when you're getting a blue form is like between... 5 and... 4? 4 to 7 minutes. I think that's when you're normally getting blue form. Probably more around the 5 and 6 minute mark. I mean, we have 5 kits and yet we are not close to blue form, right? Can you see ultimate right here? And now I'm waiting because he's gonna jump over potentially and... In this case, it was worth to wait and not cancel our ultimate immediately. So we're gonna keep following him. But yeah, blue form at 7 minutes. I think it's 5, 6, 7 around this time is very, very common. Um... But yeah, the moment you have blue form, your game pace is so fast. Yeah, like you move on the map so quickly. You have really good. Oh. Oh, they get the turret. Sad. But yeah, it gives you a lot of mobility. Way better jungle clear. Way better gangs. And. You can use the second ability. Oh, I stole it, haha. <laughs> you can use the second ability while being in the wall, for example, and moving. 
I don't really like, I don't really want to fight this to be honest. I'm just gonna use the second ability to keep poking. Oh, okay, I'm out. I am out. But they are kind of chasing pretty badly. I'm trying to escape, but the Camille Ultimate is also here. I mean, everyone is here, but my bot lane got the bot turret, I guess. So that's okay. I mean, there were five people topside. What can we do about that? Let's see stepwise, mid lane is super behind. Oh, Vega 0-3, one kill participation. While Karma is roaming all the time, and that's why the game is hard. But yeah, I think a lot of games you just have to focus on farming. Especially getting getting that Mura mana into uh, getting that mana mean into Mura mana. That's when your power spike is insane. That's why, since we are getting mana immune. We might struggle a little bit in the early mid part, but once we have the Muramana, we are so so strong, you guys will see. And that's why, even though my early games sometimes are not that good, I tapped out, that's why I died there. I could have used the ultimate on the hike, but I tapped out by accident, so that was uh, my bad. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but yeah, where was I? Palm, palm, palm. Your early game might not be the best, but you're winning by outscaling. This build is such a good scaling build because you will do so much damage later on. So that's why I wanted to show you case you this gameplay. Because I think it's way more competitive than just me being 4-0 snowballing and just one-shotting everyone from the get-go. Like a Giga Storm game. I obviously could have just chose a game like that, but I think this game is like a good example of how like the typical solo queue gameplay looks like for most people, right? Yeah, I'm gonna ping Dragon. Chasing Camille. Let's go for the Dragon, guys. Because they already have Dragons, I'd rather get the Dragon. So, they can't stack up Dragons. Prevent them from getting three Dragons. Pretty important. Like, if they have two Dragons, it doesn't matter. But three Dragons is uh, when it's risky. So, yeah. You guys, some people might, like, I think in lower ranks, or a lot of people are assuming, oh, you have to get uh, every dragon. You have to get the dragons, but honestly, it just doesn't matter that much. Unless they're getting three dragons. Three dragons is when it's becoming really hard, but otherwise in solo queue, dragons don't matter that much. Like, people give too many, too much credits to dragons. Especially if it's just two dragons. I've lost games with uh, having three dragons. It doesn't mean shit. But three dragons obviously make the game way harder because um, the stats are getting multiplied by three. And if it's just two stacks, it's more than fine, by the way. I'm gonna use the ultimate to follow this guy. Oh, he has stats as well. Okay, I'm trying to kite right here. I'm waiting for my cooldowns. And right here, I see. Oh my god, the Ezreal is here. I poked the Ezreal a little bit. But you wanna always go into the walls so you guys can get some healing and then poke them from far away. But yeah, I need to reset. I'm kinda low. I'm gonna get the Stasis for the coming ultimate. In this game, Stasis Rush for the coming ultimate. So I can block the coming ultimate. Taking a decent amount of damage here. Oh, Pike. Gonna use ultimate this time. And he dies. Gonna get out again. Try to chunk him down with a second ability over the wall. I'm gonna um, look maybe for some poking here again. On the S reel, my W. So, as you guys can see, how I'm playing these team fights out is I'm just gonna try to keep poking them. Going into the third ability, I'm getting movement speed, going into the wall and just killing them like this. I'm gonna use the stasis, I'm gonna flash out immediately. Oh, never mind, I'm not flashing out. 
Okay, I used the I used the second ability backwards, by the way, so I can slow them down. Gonna take the plant really quick. Use the second ability backwards again, trying to poke and slow them down. Going through the wall, escaping and getting healing again. And right now I'm just gonna jump onto this guy. He's gonna use the stasis. He says stasis, by the way. Get that kill again. Keep poking. Going through the wall. Every time I go into the wall, I'm getting healing. And we get another kill. And right now, I had a jump scare. I had a jump scare there. I literally had a jump scare there because I was so surprised about the pike coming. I was like, what the fuck pike is here? Fuck this champion. But you see how you can you see how you can play the fight slowly and keep kiting with the blue cane? Even when you are not ahead, or even if you guys are playing against bruisers or more tanky champions. Using the wall and using the second ability to keep kiting and poking them down. So you can even play blue form against tanky champions, not gonna, you can. Um, it does work. Because you can just play the movement, the kiting playstyle. You can't assassinate one shot them, but you can just keep poking them out. Like you can play them like a poking champion as well. I mean that's that's why I like the mana immune build, because the full lethality build, the full lethality build is like in going all in. You go all in. But this build is very versatile that you don't have to go all in, you can just keep poking them down as well. Everyone has stasis for me by the way. It's pretty annoying. Look at the poke again with the second ability. I'm gonna try to look for a flank again, gonna come from behind. And going for that as real. Look at them, bomb. I kill one of them. I'm gonna try to kite. Looking for that karma. I'm missing my abilities. Yikes. I'm gonna chase her down again. Jump on here. And we get the kill. And Dragon's gonna spawn. Honestly, we could have done Baron potentially. But I am too low life. And I don't think everyone is gonna group up for this. I'm picking right now. Please help. Jenna, please help me. I don't know where you're going, but please just help me. I'm uh, go. I'm keep going into the wall because by going into the wall, I keep getting um, sustain back. I keep healing myself. And the cooldown, like, look at the cooldown of my uh, third ability. It's so low. And time to group for Baron. Time to group for Baron. I don't know why a volley is a little bit overextended though. Needs to, I should be careful. Okay, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna sell the Shimmering Spark so I can get the component for the Lord Dominic's. Make sure to clear the wave before an objective. Very important as well. Pike is here. Looks like they might be fighting. I'm just trying to clear. And looks like they are fighting. I'm gonna try to rotate. Let's see what we can do. Can I try to poke the Ezreal down? Oh, uh, dude. I wanted to use ultimate on Ezreal, but he jumped away. And then my targeting went for the volley. Oh, uh, for the on. My bad. Went for the on. Oh, we won Nemesis. Are you guys wondering if Volley Bear wins the Nemesis? What I'm doing is YOLO, I missed it, he just dashed out. Um, if Volibear uh, wins the Nemesis, his ultimate does um, knock up. That's actually insane. We're fine though. We wasted our flash to be fair, but we're fine. We're, uh, we survived. That's all that matters. <laughs> I tried to one-shot the Ezra and then get away, but I missed it. Oh, he, uh, he dodged it. Let's call it he dodged it. He dodged it, guys. I didn't miss it, he dodged it. He played it good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what our our tank is doing there, but uh, he's doing a little bit of a Kami Cat one versus five playstyle. Interesting, right? I'm gonna play it slow, by the way. I'm gonna try to poke people down. Play it slow. Trying to escape. I'm just gonna go for the Kami right here. Trying to body block. Here we get him. Look at the damage ultimate. Dude, everyone has stats. It's actually annoying at some point. Okay, we'll get some. And now we can just go for Baron. We can go for Baron because three people are dead, including the enemy jungler, making it a safe Baron play slash Baron call. 
And afterwards, we can also go for the Elder. Okay, we get it. And now we can just go for the Elder as well. I'm pinging. Let's go for the Elder. We're just gonna rush it. Kami might teleport in to be honest, but I think we get it in time. Even if Kami comes. Maybe Pike will try to steal. Okay, we got it. Ah, oh, he just dashed away and he stunned me. I wanted to chase him, but he just stunned me there. I'm not gonna get him anymore. Tragic. I was thinking about pushing bot lane or just going mid lane right now I'm looking for a sneaky one shot here ooh they do hit me look at the damage on that Ezreal already Ezreal is dead when he's ultimate on that Karma against Stasis I should cancel it more often, or quicker, not gonna lie. And just one-shotting this guy immediately. I didn't have to use Stasis, which way I did. Yeah, that's coming for the game, huh? GG's, GG's, very competitive game I would say, um, early game, kinda clown fiesta, but I think these are the typical solo queue games that you guys are experiencing, so you guys can see how to play blue cane in those closed and hard games, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and tell me guys your opinion about blue cane, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I see you guys, bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush